Viva la vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to this week's question and answer which is What's the UK like for vegans and activism? Um, I hope you followed uh, the series that I've been doing about all different areas and all different countries about how veganism and activism is in all these countries. And the UK and Europe, they're both two places I have not yet been and they're on the top of my list of the places I really want to go to um, for my next overseas adventures. But I do know a few things about the UK and so I just thought I'd share them with you today. So um, the UK Vegan Society, um, this is the world's oldest vegan organisation and it was founded in 1944 and I suggest that's where you start. The term vegan was actually coined by the founder of the UK Vegan Society, Donald Watson, and his description of veganism is still used to this day. The Vegan Society is still the forefront of vegan education, outreach and events. They organise various veg fests, they give grants, they have this vegan trademark that you can apply to use and you can also become a member, get their um, magazines and more and more. If you're first um, going to the UK or you'd like to find out what's happening over there, I definitely suggest that you start there. The Vegan Society, along with a film um, company, they actually put out one of my favourite documentaries called Making the Connections. So um, definitely check out that video if you have not already seen it. Um, as with a lot of Western countries, there's a lot of talk and there's a lot of noise, but not a lot of change. Um, these, a lot of things have been happening, like the Vegan Society has been going since the 1940s, and a lot of other movements have been going since the 70s or 80s. Um, you know, there's some really good things that happen, like the Greens Party have some really great goals for animal rights. Um, there's a lot of naked and stunt-like activism that happens over there. Awards and congratulations are given to multinational burger companies who enact small changes. Um, I've had some of my friends who've been in that animal rights movement for decades, they've said that you, the UK used to be the place for animal rights activism. Um, for example, throwing red paint on all the people who dared walk around in fur jackets in public was one of those things. And now it's replaced uh, with a lot more stores actually selling fur and coming back into business. Um, in the UK they made some really great documentaries um, including a really great one called The Animals Film which I suggest you check it out. It's from the 80s but it's still relevant. The anonymous underground direct action Animal Liberation Front was originally started in the 70s from the Hunt Saboteurs Association which was founded by Ronnie Lee in the UK. The Global Campaign Shack, which stands for Stop Huntingdon Animal Cruelty, actually started in the UK and this was an extremely effective campaign. There's some other good websites that you should check out as well. The British Union for the Abolition of Vivisection, B-U-A-V, and they do some really amazing work. Um, as I've said with some other ones, just do an internet search for what area you're in for the animal rights and the vegan events that are in your area and just get involved. And um, I've heard there's some really great vegan places in the Making the Connection documentary. I actually saw SAF and I was really excited to go there, but I have heard it since closed. Um, there's many different restaurants that are catered to vegans and there's many different um, places that are non-vegan that will accommodate your vegan requests. So next time you're there, let me know what it's like or let me know now if I've missed anything. Um, and I look forward to seeing some of you over there in the near future. So thank you for joining me this week. I hope that's helped. And I look forward to seeing you next week for the next Q&A, which is, do you eat fish? See you then.